Okay, so we got these new Kuni Kuni piglets. Um, when we first got them, well, the boy there at the top, his name's Boss, he was a little underweight, he was kind of skinny. So I went and got a bag of sweet feed when he was brand new, and we've just been feeding him that, really honestly, just to, just to fatten him up a bit. And uh, this little piglet, when we got her, her name's Rue. When we got Rue, she was really healthy, uh, good, good weight and everything. Um, they've both been raised on after, you know, after milk from their mom. They've both been fed a grain. But in the past, we've had Kuni Kunis that are 100% on Timothy hay, and they've been really healthy and happy. Um, we found that when we put these breed of lard pig, when we have them on a grain, they get too heavy and they get kind of lethargic and they don't move around. So we try to get them on a pasture um, because they are a true pasture pig. So what I'm going to be trying today is we're going to get some of the Timothy hay that we have that we feed to the goats. And I'm going to chop it up and mix it up with some butternut soup that we have. And uh, maybe a little yogurt or something and see if we can kind of put a dressing on the Timothy hay so they'll start eating it and getting used to that taste. So I gave him a teeny bit of grain just to keep him from squealing this morning while I'm out here and maybe get him a little bit of food. And then uh, we'll see how this goes. Start feeding him Timothy hay. Okay, so essentially what the plan is, is I went and got some of the Timothy hay and uh, you know, Timothy hay is, is kind of a little longer and more straw-like. Um, I don't know how easy it is for the piglets to, to get used to eating it. I mean, I'm sure it's fine, but what I was thinking about doing is I just got a bucket and I went out and got some hay and I'm just gonna grab some of my scissors here. Let me grab those. Just some of my heavy duty scissors and I'm just gonna try to cut this up a little bit shorter um, so that I can put it in this bucket and then I'm gonna mix some butternut squash soup that we have left over with it and uh, just try to put some kind of a dressing on it so that um, when we go to feed the pigs, and basically something to entice them to eat the hay and to get used to it. And then eventually the idea is, is we'll slowly wean it off, maybe find a vinaigrette dressing or something we can put on there until they're used to just eating the Timothy hay. Um, you know, like I mentioned before, we've had Kuni Kunis 100% on pasture and Timothy hay. Um, seems to be really good for them. They do great on it. They seem to get all the nutrients that they need out of, out of it since they are, you know, a true pasture pig. Um, and so that's kind of where we'd like to be is to the point where we can just feed them straight hay, um, you know, or straight Timothy straw and maybe every once in a while supplement it with something else. We do throw scraps out, out into the, you know, the chicken and goat and pig area out there. We throw scraps out there. We throw pumpkins and squash and other stuff out there in the fall. They get a lot of pumpkins. Um, and so, you know, they will have other things in their diet, but I would like their primary food source to be uh, Timothy hay. Let's go ahead and try to chop some of this up. Okay, so this is just some homemade butternut squash my wife made. Um, butternut squash soup. It's really delicious, healthy for you. All almost all complete ingredients from the garden, natural ingredients in there. Um, and really, I'm just trying to flavor this Timothy hay so that they'll get used to it here. I've tried just throwing, you know, I, I've tried throwing Timothy down into their bowls and then adding feed and stuff on top of it and if it doesn't stick to the timothy hay they just forage around in there until they get everything out anyways so then they end up just spilling the hay everywhere so i'm trying to figure out a way that i can actually coat the hay so that they'll actually want to eat the hay it might be easier just to throw a lid on this let me go get something to stir it found an old garden trial should work Wow, it's going to actually take more squash than I thought. So if you if any of you have success using 
heard of some people using like an apple cider vinegar or something to make a dressing. Um, I don't know, maybe I could put some you know, extra virgin olive oil in there or something. Um, any suggestions would be great. Just trying to transition the pigs to a hay diet. Wow, it's crazy. It just completely absorbs it. <laughs> it's almost, the soup is almost just completely hidden into this hay. Uh, I guess it's, there it is down at the bottom. Okay, well, it's coated everywhere. Okay, here's the test. Come on, piggies. <laughs> 